That you might have life. Somebody said, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Said he picked me up and turned me around and placed my feet on solid ground. I'm talking about Jesus. Some of you, he picked you up this week. what you do or don't do. And I know in the church we've kind of perpetrated that myth and tell people that if you do this and you don't do this, then God will love you and you know, you, all you've got to know how much God loves you is to go back 2,000 years on a hill called Calvary and when he stretched his arms out wide and he died, he said it is finished. He came and he paid a price for you. That's how much God loves you. And the Bible said, if he already gave his best for you, there is nothing else he won't do for you. Uh, Christ's death is your proof of how valuable you are. You're not valuable or not valuable because of your what, what you do, your position. Huh? You're not valuable because of your of your job, how much money you have. If you wanna if you wanna determine your value, you just remember that Christ died for you. And regardless of whatever else you do in life, you can't undo the fact that He already died for you. For the Bible said, while we were yet sinners. And remember, we weren't born yet, but we were yet sinners. And Christ looked down through eternity and he saw you and he saw me. And he said, I know Brown is going to mess up, but I'm going to pay for him before he messes up. So that when he messes up, he can reach back and look at the cross and know that I loved him enough. And he won't determine his value by what he does or does not do. Amen. Paul said, who shall separate us from the love of God and Christ Jesus? Paul said, are you going to let trouble separate you? He said, are you going to let some hardship? And some of you may be going through hardship, but Paul said, don't let that separate you. He said, you may be going through some persecution. Paul said, don't let that separate you. You may be going through some famine or, or some nakedness or, or some sword. Paul said, in all these things, uh, while you're going through, what you going through, while you're experiencing your pain and your trouble, your trials and your tribulation, Paul said, in all these things, we are more. We are just conquerors. He said we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Huh? And then Paul said you got to get to the place where you are convinced and convicted that you will not let anything separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Paul says, don't let life or death. He said, don't let angels or any devil. He said, don't let things present or things to come. He said, don't let heights, don't let death. He said, don't let anything else separate you from the love of God. In Christ, church, I need you to hear that. Don't let anything 
separate you from the love of God. That is if you are made for more than this. Don't look at yourself based on where you are right now. You are made for more than this. You are made for more than this. Whatever is going through your life, if it's sickness, you are made for more than Don't be defined by your sickness. Don't be defined by your sin or your, your failures or your faults. You were made for more than this. You don't have to stay the same because Christ came and he died and he didn't stay dead for the Bible said on the third day he rose and the Bible said he rose with all power in his hand and you see what Christ's death and resurrection did for us is uh, it freed us from our past uh, now, now you need to know that your past is forgiven Isaiah writes in Isaiah 43 he said you need to forget the former things he said do not dwell on your past God said I'm ready to do a new thing in you but he can't do a new thing in you as long as you keep it on holding on to the old thing that you have been through uh, Paul says in Colossians 2 he said Christ has canceled our debts and he has nailed them to the cross uh, Paul says in Romans 8 and 1 he said there is therefore now no condemnation for you who are in Christ Jesus. So he has freed you from your past. But guess what? He, he is empowering you to live for today. Amen. He is empowering you for today. He has given you power so you can live victorious lives. We serve an omnipresent God. He knows. He sees everything. He, he's omniscient. He knows everything. But, but he's also omnipotent. So, so he not only sees and he knows, but he has the power to do something about it. It's one thing for you to see my situation. I know my situation. But if you can't do anything about my situation, then you can't help me. But, but, but when you see it, and you know it, and you can do something about it, and, and that's why you came, is so that not only will I have life, but I will have it in abundance, then I know you're just looking for an opportunity to, to, to fix it. But I've got to line up. I, I've got to start thinking a new way. Got to start acting a new way. Amen? Amen. And then not only does it dead and resurrection deal with my past and my present, but it secures my future. Listen, if you live long enough, you're going to die. Every person is going to die. Now, here is the crazy thing. We know we're going to die, and yet some of us are not preparing for death. Huh? We all are going to die. And, 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 and the Bible says, you know, every knee has to bow. And every tongue has to confess. And so if I were you, and I hadn't bowed my knees and, and said, God, you know what? I've messed up. Don't, don't be like Adam and Eve. You, you are hiding uh, because you can't hide from God. God is watching you. God just knows where you are. And, and this morning, God said to ask you, Adam and Eve, where are you? Where, what are you hiding from? He said, it's time for you to stop hiding. It's time for you to change. He said, you don't have to stay the same. You came in here for friends and family. You came in here because somebody invited you. But God said, today, your life can change. He said, you've been hiding. You've been running from me. But, but I got you this morning. And he said, don't leave the same where you came. He said, you don't have to stay the same. He said, he's ready to do a new thing in you. He said, I am the way. 
I am the truth. He said, I am life itself. He said, nobody comes to the Father but by me. So if you're here this morning, God is opening a door for you. And he's saying, you don't have to stay the same. He said, give me your heart so I can change it. You don't have to stay the same. God is prepared right now, today, to do a new thing in your life. One songwriter says, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. I may not know what's going on in my tomorrow, but I can face it because I'm facing it with Christ. I don't know what's in your tomorrow. And guess what? It doesn't matter what's in your tomorrow. What I'm saying to you is, whatever is in your tomorrow, don't face it alone. Why, why don't you face it with Christ? Amen? Amen? There's no reason for you to stay the same. If you are here and you're going through, you know, one way we can deal with our stuff is to kind of have pity parties and woe me and God, why me? But rather than having a pity party, I dare you to start having praise parties. Because as long as I'm having a pity party, guess where the focus is? The focus is on me, but, but if we mess around and start having a praise party, the focus is no longer on me. The, the focus is on Christ. And, and if I could just keep my eyes on Christ, if, if I could take my eyes off my circumstances, it doesn't matter what's going on around me. Uh, the winds and the waves may be blowing, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and everything may be going, going to hell, but, but if I would keep my eyes on Jesus, if I would put my hand in, his hand and he will walk me through every danger and every trouble and every temptation and he will bring me out on the other side of through and when I get through on the other side of through there are blessings waiting for you on the other side of through on the other side of through there is healing waiting for you so I'm pulling you to come through whatever you are going through God said if you would just just make your, press your way through. Because on the other side of through, there are some things waiting for you. You are made for more than this. Whatever the, this is in your life, God is saying to you this morning, that He wants to change it. He said he wants to make you better. And all you've got to do, open your hearts to him. Surrender your life to him. God said, your life will never be the same. 